everyone, Happy New Year! I am Anne. Welcome into my studio. Welcome to Anne Makes. It is the first video of 2020. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already done so because if you like videos about all things arts and crafts related, anything DIY or do-it-yourself, including lots of haul videos pertaining to craft supplies that are affordable, then you will want to subscribe and cl uh, click on the bell so YouTube will notify you every time I post a new content. So today what I have for you for the first video of 2020, well, I thought I would share or do a little show and tell of the projects I made during my Christmas break. That's right. I took it easy during this holiday season. I stayed away from social media, stayed away from work, and I just relaxed with my family, enjoyed them, and I did a little bit of crafting for me. So I am going to move the camera over in a little bit so you can get a better uh, view of the finished products. But what I'm going to be showing you is that I completed the four fantastic holiday projects made by Diamond Dots. If you remember in an earlier video, and I will leave a link for that above to that video, I did an unboxing of this. I showed you this product that I purchased while in the US. I went to a Joann's to get this and I believe this is an exclusive product to Joann's. In here you have four small diamond painting projects all by Diamond Dots. And I had a lot of fun completing the four projects. I did not make anything out of three of them yet but I will do that at a later date probably or I will frame them I haven't decided on that so bear with me while we switch cameras and you guys get to see how uh, these four projects that I completed look like Here is the box of the Diamond Dots four fantastic holiday projects that we are talking about today. It does say add some sparkle to your world and they're not lying. These Diamond Dots are very sparkly. I work a lot with Diamond Dots. I have uh, a certain preference to their product and I also work with the company's products on a professional basis. So in here, uh, I, thought, I thought this was really a fun kit. I did purchase this with my own money. I got this at a Joann's in the state of New York when I was over there during Black Friday weekend to do some major shopping <laughs> and it was fun. So this was well priced. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was one of those 50% uh, off project uh, products that they had for their sale. And I will leave a link in the description below to the Joann's website where uh, this used to be, or I'm, I think it might still be available on a line for you to purchase. I am not affiliated in any way with a Joann's. I will not make a single penny if you purchase uh, from Joann's this product. I am just providing that information uh, for you, uh, just in case you are interested in purchasing this. There are four projects in here and the, the goal of this is to do something different with each one. As you can see on the box, they do show some being made into table runners, bags, and cushions, which is my intention to do eventually down the road, but I did not get that far. So the first project I completed was the wreath on the panel, the board panel here. And I did mount it to the little cardboard easel that is provided in the kit. 
and I did have it on display uh, by my entrance on a table for the Christmas season and here is the completed project do not mind the cat fur my cat uh, was snuggling up against this oh dear okay <laughs> okay uh, minus the cat fur cat fur not included uh, the diamonds provided are super sparkly and shiny as you may or may not know Diamond Dots products have this unique feature. They have 13 facets. They are really, really uh, sparkly. And they do make some specialty type of drills. They do have these extremely sparkly ones here. They are more of the metallic type. And they also included in this kit some special beads they are these big halfback pearls they are very shiny and they were they're a lot of fun to add instant pop of dimension and color to your project so this is my completed project and uh, I will show you afterwards what I use to seal each and every one of these projects so here was the first project I completed and I did display for Christmas in my home. The other projects I completed in between Christmas and New Year's. And I did not display these in my home. I did not make anything else out of them uh, just because of t lack of time. So here is the other project I completed, which is again a partial, as we like to commonly call in our world here. <laughs> on and makes <laughs> um, and it is a very lovely Christmas tree with ornaments and again the ornaments are made with these halfback pearls very very shiny there are some other beautiful little metallic diamonds around here or I, I have rhinestones or more rhinestones I find than anything else they're very very shiny and yeah so this this was another fun project. This part is a partial. This is, there are no diamonds here. That is why this is a partial. The third project I have to show you that I completed is the ornament. The ornament is all made with regular round drills by Diamond Dots. Again, cat fur was not included. That is just my cat's special touch. Don't worry, the kefir is not stuck here. I can easily just remove it, wipe it off. Uh, I did seal this project before the cat got to it, and that is my tip of the century. Uh, so here we are again. We have some extra sparkly uh, rhinestone-ish like drills here in the green, and uh, no special flat back big drill pearls whatever on this one but i think it is lovely and i am still not sure what i will complete this into for other holiday for the for future holidays but uh i'm very pleased with how it worked out and finally last but not least we have our snowman isn't he cute I think he's absolutely adorable. I love the shading here with the more, um, I could you say, off-white or buff color of the snow is kind of is in a shadow here. And the diamonds are so sparkly. I absolutely love how my snowman turned out. I'm saying it's a snowman because of the hat. That's all I'm going to say about that. So I had a lot of fun making these projects. They were so easy to make. They were quick. I was able to you to do these projects while we watched movies. I was sitting on the couch. I had a light pad underneath and I just did one color at a time just because it was easier in case snowball jumped in my lap and I didn't because let me tell you the beads did go flying several times because snowball did jump on my lap several times 
but at least I only had one color to pick up off the carpet. <laughs> so that, these are the completed projects of the Diamond Dots for Fantastic Holiday Projects. This is an exclusive product from Joann's. And uh, I, the, I will leave links to the Diamond Dots company to joanns.com. I will also leave a, an affiliate link to Leisure Arts as Leisure Arts is an official seller of Diamond Dots projects. They can't, they don't sell this kit in particular, but uh, I will, they do have a lot of beautiful projects on their sale site as well. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I said I would tell you what I do to seal all my diamond art paintings. What I do after I've completed a diamond art project is that I re, I just place the protective sheet that comes with the project over the top. I place this on a flat surface such as a tabletop or desktop, whatever. And I use a little brayer here. This is my brayer that I reach for the most when I want to make sure that all the little drills are set in place. It does look uh, dirty and beat up, but it's actually clean. It's just stained from previous paint projects. I have a, a variety of brayers, and I just wanted to show you that uh, you can, if you can't find the craft supply or art artist brand uh, brayers, just go to your local hardware store. This one comes from my local hardware store. I had purchased this exactly for a home renovating prod project that we were doing. And uh, now it's in my craft room. <laughs> so this is just a tool I picked up at the hardware store. It is a nylon, like a hard plastic. I guess they would, I think they call this nylon, but it, you know, it's a hard plastic. Little brayer. It's very easy to clean. Cleans up so easily with soap and water. And it dries, you know, well, it's because it's plastic very lightweight and I find it's perfect for small projects and especially when I was rolling the diamonds on this project so I could go in between the uh, big pearls here this was just the perfect size so that that's what I use and to finish off all my diamond art paintings my favorite way to seal them is to use mod podge ultra in the spray this comes out in extremely fine spray it doesn't leave any drops drizzles it i love how this is i don't need to use a brush it's not messy i actually just hold my diamond painting projects over my sink or inside a box when the project is larger or just, you know, I cover my table with some newspaper or old cardboard and I just spray this on there. I let it dry completely. I lock the cat out of the room <laughs> while my project is drying for sure and it dries very quickly. Uh, the time it takes to dry really depends on how warm it is in this room, if I've got the ceiling fan going or whatever. And when it dries, uh, the, the little drills retain their sheen. Nothing is lost. And I think that the because I use the uh, Mod Podge Ultra, it might actually enhance the sheen that is already on the other parts of the canvas. And if you do not want in to add extra sheen to the other parts of the canvas, Mod Podge does make this in a matte spray. So uh, great product. I highly recommend that for sealing our diamond art paintings. So I hope that you enjoy the first video of 2020 here on Ann Makes. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and uh, letting YouTube know that you would like to be notified when I post new content by clicking on that bell until it moves. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please uh, leave comments. I do reply to them eventually. Share if you care. And 
until next time, stay crafty. Thank you for watching. Bye.